In this video, we're going to talk about using the part library for features. So on the screen here, I have a part. I'm going to get an isometric view. Uh, it has a, a hole with a pocket and then some tapped holes around the outside. And we're going to go with the uh, assumption that this is something that our company makes a lot of parts that get this shape in it. So if I play this real quick, I'll slow it down. I just say play the next operation. There's the drill uh, pocket. Here's where we spy drilled, drilled, and tapped these holes. So this setup of all these features, I would like to group together and put in the part library so that I can call it out later to put it on different parts. So one thing I did here that's very important and just makes it easier to work with is I created the feature around the origin. So that way, when I bring it out of the part library, it's real easy to relocate to a new position. But before I do that, it's currently made up of three features, the hole in the middle of the pocket and the pattern around the outside. So what I'm going to do is group these together to make them all work as one, and then I will put them stored in the part library. So I'm going to come up here to new feature. And tell it I want to create a group next I'm going to add these three features to the group okay there's the three features next and here if it's very important that I machine them in a certain order I'm going to put that together in the order that I wish so I'm going to take this pattern and just move it down so I'm doing the hole first the pocket and then the pattern and I'm going to say manufacture in this order. And what that does for me is later when I'm looking at the operations list, it will not allow me to drag the pattern up in front of the hole or the pocket in front of the hole. Sort of like if this was a spot drill drilling a tap. So that's what this is doing. Anyway, I'm going to say finish. And you will notice here on the left that all I've really done is created a group with my three features are now inside that group. Okay. So I could even condense it there and see just a group. But I'm going to rename this. I can rename it here or once it's in the library. I'm going to pull this down and say rename. And I'm just going to call this special. Special socket. And say OK. Now what I'm going to do is put this in the part library. So I'm going to go up here to part library. And this is a new install, so this is exactly what it looks like. Uh, so there's one folder that's currently in there. So I'm going to take that folder, and I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to call this Sockets. And say OK. And this folder is where I'm going to put all the different kind of sockets that we machine. So basically, this is highlighted. I'm going to come over here in the operations list, select the special sockets and say add selected. And you can see here that it added it underneath the folder called sockets. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. So now it's in the part library. Matter of fact, I'm just going to grab this and delete it. Let's do that again. Grab it, delete it. And anytime you have a pattern, it takes a two deletes to make it go away. And that was a circle that I created. I'm going to delete that as well. So now I don't have any more features. So now I can always go to my part library. This could be a brand new part. And come in here, grab the feature that I want, if you will. And I'm going to say paste. All right. Then it comes up with some options here. It says paste these selected objects into the current window. If I select that, then it's going to paste them right here, exact same XY they were stored from. Or I can say paste and define a new location. So I'm going to say next. And basically, the first thing it wants to know is the reference location. 
Well, since I put it at 000, zero, zero I can just leave that. Go ahead and say next. Now it wants the new location. And I'm going to tell it it's supposed to be up here. And then just go ahead and say finish. And now you can see what it's done. If I want to go get another one, go to the part library, grab the feature, paste it. I wanted to find a new location. It shows me the reference location. Next, I want the new location to be over here. Finish. And at this point, it's just like any other part that has multiple features. So you can come over here and sort and do different things in your operations list. So that's taking advantage of the part library you by storing features in the part library.